So we're at Snaresbrook Crown Court because eight of us, the Elba 8, are on trial for taking action to disrupt the production of Israeli weapons across the first six months of our movement. We're on trial for conspiracy to burgle, conspiracy to destroy and conspiracy to blackmail Israel's arms trade and their landlords. But we know that we are not the guilty party, that Elbit and the ones making a profit from the destruction of Palestine are the guilty ones. It's obvious that the state are doing everything possible to try and prosecute Palestine action and they're throwing on ridiculous charges which leads to higher prison sentences and they can ban you if you're convicted from campaigning for life. So it's obvious that this is politically motivated. We know that the state has had several meetings with the Israeli embassy, the Israeli Ministry of Strategic Affairs and Benny Gantz, Israel's defense minister. Uh, to discuss Palestine action. So it's quite clear that they want to try and crush us, but they won't succeed. We're going to continue to fight until all Elbit factories are shut down. We welcome the further call from the Palestinian trade unions to call on people globally to target the Israeli weapons trade on their doorstep who are manufacturing weapons to massacre Palestinians. It's crucial that we continue the fight, both in our actions and in the courtroom, to make it clear that it's Israel's weapons trade that is guilty. They are the ones that need to be shut down and we've done nothing wrong by stopping them. People can come down to Snaresbrook Crown Court and support us directly while we're on trial, but to be honest, the most important thing is people get outside those weapons factories and shut them down. Israel is committing a genocide right now in Palestine with weapons made on our doorstep. It is within our power to shut them down and that's what we must continue to do. Free!